Hello students of science, let's talk about stoichiometry and mole ratios. Stoichiometry, more or less, is the calculation of quantities of reactants and products. So let's take a look at this example here. Here I have CH4, methane, is going to react with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. What stoichiometry allows us to do is figure out, hey, starting with this much methane, how much water will I produce? Or this much oxygen, how much CO2 will be produced? You can solve these unknowns by using ratios from a balanced equation. So in this case right here, I have one molecule of methane plus two molecules of oxygen is going to make one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. I need this balanced equation to figure out what I'm going to be doing next. So methane and oxygen makes carbon dioxide and water, but the balanced equation is key. I need that for the stoichiometry. A balanced equation is very important because I'm going to get the mole ratio from it. So in this case right here, I am showing nitrogen plus hydrogen gas is going to make ammonia. The mole ratio allows me to convert from one to the other. The mole ratio allows me to figure out the amount of one substance in relation to another substance. So let's take a look at some examples here. Here's an example of a ratio not related to this. Here we have 15 of these red squares is going to react with 20 of these green diamonds. So the ratio would be 15 to 20, or I could simplify that down to 3 to 4. In this case right here, my nitrogen plus hydrogen makes ammonia. I could say 1 mole of nitrogen is related to two moles of ammonia, or one of this is going to produce two of those. I could also say one mole of nitrogen is going to react with three moles of hydrogen there. Three moles of hydrogen are going to react to form two moles of ammonia, or I could say two moles of ammonia are going to react with three moles of hydrogen. All I'm doing is I'm taking the coefficients in front of there. In the case of nitrogen, there is no coefficient, so it's one. So that's my mole ratio, one to two, one to three, depending upon what they are. Here I have Hydrogen and oxygen is going to react to form water, so the relationship between hydrogen and oxygen is 2 to 1. The relationship between hydrogen and water is going to be 2 to 2. The same idea is right here, just look at the coefficients in relationship to one another. Let's use this to take a look at an example of some s'mores. Don't worry, Woody. In just a few hours, you'll be sitting around a campfire with Andy making delicious hot schmoes. They're called s'mores, Buzz. Right, right, of course. So graham crackers plus chocolate bar plus marshmallow is how you make a s'more. However, you don't do one graham cracker, one chocolate bar, and one marshmallow. Here I'm gonna and I'm gonna simplify this out to almost like a chemical equation. I need two graham crackers plus one chocolate bar plus one marshmallow is going to make my s'more. That's my chemical equation for s'mores as I'm putting it on there. That too is important, otherwise you have what, I don't know, an open face s'more, and that's not really a thing. So I can get a ratio from this. Two graham crackers for every one chocolate bar, two graham crackers per one marshmallow, one chocolate bar for one s'more. Here I can get all these different mole ratios from that. Here I am making my s'mores. So I now am looking at some mole ratios. Two moles of graham crackers are going to react with one mole of chocolate bar, or I could almost flip this around. These are the exact same thing. One of mole of chocolate bars and react with two moles of graham crackers. Here I have one mole of chocolate bars going to react with one mole of s'mores. One mole of s'mores is going to also react with one mole of chocolate bars. So these are just inverses of each other. But here I'm just looking at the coefficients in front. One chocolate bar reacts with one mole of marshmallows. One mole of s'more is going to react with two moles of graham crackers. Two moles of graham crackers, one mole of marshmallows. All of these are just different relationships that I can form by looking at the coefficients in my balanced chemical equation. So let's take a look at some real life examples of this. Water can be broken down to form oxygen and hydrogen through electrolysis. So let's take a look at some mole ratios I can get. I can get one mole of oxygen is going to react with two moles of hydrogen. I can get two moles of hydrogen reacts with one of oxygen. Again, these are just inverses. I can get two moles of water is going to react with two moles of hydrogen. Or I can get two moles of water is going to react with one mole of oxygen. All of these capable of being formed by just the coefficients. Now, let's take a look at this as an example. Here is water. Here I have uh, the two different electrodes coming off of there. And in this case here, I'm forming oxygen, and here I'm forming hydrogen. This is where that mole ratio is important, because you can see there is twice as much hydrogen as there is oxygen. Here I'm going off of this mole ratio here. For every one mole of oxygen, you're going to get two moles of hydrogen. So it's the one to two ratio that I'm going to get from this. Here's just another example of one oxygen for every two hydrogens is going to be produced. So that ratio of two to one, I'm always going to be producing twice as much hydrogen as I am oxygen. 
Here I have the formula ammonia plus nitrogen monoxide is going to make nitrogen gas and water. Now I have it balanced out with 4, 6, 5, and 6 as my coefficients there. So now I can form some mole ratios. 4 moles of ammonia is going to react with 6 moles of nitrous oxide. That's fine. I could also flip that on its head. 6 moles of nitrous oxide, 4 moles of ammonia. It doesn't really matter which one's on top. I'm going to pick the one that I need for the equations, but that comes later. But that is capable of being formed. I could also do 6 moles of nitrogen monoxide is going to react to form 5 moles of nitrogen gas, or I could flip that around, or 5 5 moles of nitrogen gas is going to also be accompanied by 6 moles of water, or 6 moles of water is going to react with 6 moles of nitrogen monoxide, or I could do 4 moles of ammonia is going to react with 5 moles of nitrogen gas. All of these are capable of being formed off of just this basic equation. The ratio is just looking at the coefficients in front of my balanced equation.